Oh, we're fixing everything. Uh, I'll show you how to take out the fifth gear on uh, this C F17 C419 gearbox, but it's the same for all the F17 gearboxes. What you need to do is take out the tire first. That we need to take out. All the same length, and there is one right there. Can you see? Can I zoom in from here? Oh, yes, I can. Yeah, lovely. And now I think it's a 12 millimeter. No, 11 then. It's not 10. Yes. <clears throat> the gasket I cannot change after I take it out, so. any screws no so I'll need a, a screwdriver maybe oh no I made a big mess Okay, so usually it's a E11 in this bolt, but now it's a 5mm Allen key, so no problem. First thing we need to do is take the shaft out, we can check for any play. If there is like big one, it seems fine. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe a pair of gloves here, yeah. so my hands don't stink. Okay, so. One bolt is out. I will definitely prefer using
good now to take it out just put it to the side and pull up and let's have a look onto the wire it's not something instantly worn looks okay okay next we can put that sprue or no we can't we need that first to remove the safety washers whatever they're called I hope you'll be able to see what I'm doing you definitely don't want to lose it so keep your finger on top of it Now I now have a two side pullers. Oh, very nice. Let's bring the pullers. Okay, just put this one in. Oh, it's so, oh, it's so easy. <laughs> Not expected that. Good. So this one is now out. Let me take this one so I don't lose it somewhere. Let's see the condition of the tooth. They look okay on the inside as well. See this one, this one looks very good, huh. markings here, can you see, usually it's not like that, something hit it. I don't think, I don't think so. Okay, and now the two bearings. Nice and smooth surface. The ring look okay. Now this one, this one is hard to extract. Is good if you have um, D 
double sided flat puller which is so hard to find that it's not even possible we'll see now how we're going to take this one out I only have the puller that I showed you earlier and I'm not 100% sure that this is the best tool but I'll figure it out so there isn't that much space to go into my best to don't ruin the tools but I don't think it will be that easy so now we need to heat it up as much as we can bring the torch the torch is on let's give it a try now Unfortunately, I'm missing the footage here where I'm uh, pulling the gear out. But here you can see me on another gearbox that uh, had the same thing. I'm putting the extractor in and that's how I'm gonna pull it out. I needed to hit it with a impact gun on the top so it can uh, extract at least a little bit because my uh, extractor was not strong enough and then I will finish it off with a really big one see what we pulled out one big one it sits with the little opening towards the outside here yeah. here is the lid this one is definitely damaged a little bit you can see here if we compare it to this one yeah <coughs> You know, this one Did I put it to the opposite way around? Uh, I don't know because it's just like that, yeah? So something is been into the inside of it. So now we can inspect for where right here and over here as well 
Shun got a little bit more wear, you can see. Yeah. Look here. And look over here. That's how to take them out.